What does it mean to be undocumented in 2020? For those under the DACA program, it means uncertainty as they await a decision by the Supreme Court. Or some under the program can recall when they realized what it really meant to be undocumented. In high school, it was just, I started realizing, wow, I'm actually like, I can't work because students were working and I started discussing. Luckily at, the, at that time, DACA came. So I was able to, my sophomore year, apply for DACA and get in. The program, which was first implemented by former President Barack Obama back in 2012, allowed those who were brought to the United States as children certain opportunities. Over the next few months, eligible individuals who do not present a risk to national security or public safety will be able to request temporary relief from deportation proceedings and apply for work authorization. Those approved by the program allows them to have a work permit, a driver's license in certain states, and protection from deportation, all valid for two years. Since the election of President Donald Trump, there have been several instances where the Trump administration has tried canceling the program. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. Since then, a federal judge in San Francisco temporarily blocked the administration's attempt to end DACA. After eight years since the conception of the program, undocumented young people have been able to make a life for themselves. Once I got my, my DACA, man, that opened up so much, so much opportunities. I got my driver's license, I got a, I got a better car, I started working, my first real job. The future of DACA is now in the hands of the Supreme Court. And if they decide the program has spaces to be terminated, recipients say they are not giving up. I would, I would guess that if DACA is taken away. Um, but at the same time, like I said, okay, I know people who have their masters, PhDs, or who just have their bachelors, and they're working. They're working. So I'm like, okay, that gives me hope. A decision by the Supreme Court is expected to be given sometime in June. And depending on their final ruling, the future for those protected under DACA remains uncertain. I always hope for the best. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an optimist through and through. So whatever the decision may be, this is not the end of the world. Ultimately, things will work out.